First of all, congrats for ditching Chrome. If you've ended up having to choose between Brave versus Vivaldi, well, you are making a great life decision already. I'm just here to help you choose the right option, as these two are very different. Let's start with privacy. You know, the one thing Chrome sucks at? And here, the question's not if these browsers are private, it's how much privacy do you want? Brave Browser has been laser focused on privacy and security ever since its launch in 2016. It's open source and doesn't collect or share any user data or browser history. When syncing across devices, it also encrypts the data for maximum safety. Plus, Brave blocks ads, third party cookies, and trackers by default. On top of all these Brave Browser privacy measures, it also boasts a true private browsing mode that is powered by the Tor network, meaning it will hide what you do online even from your ISP. So can you trust Brave Browser? Well, I know I do. Now on to the other side of the scale. What is Vivaldi Browser? And is it safe? Well, Vivaldi was born in 1679. What? Wait. Um, oh, <laughs> yeah, might be a bit off the mark with that one. But the browser named after him <laughs> was founded back in 2015. Their mission is to make the browser adapt to you and not the other way around. So privacy might not be the main goal, but they still do really well in this regard. The browser stores your browsing history on your device in an encrypted folder that only you can access. If you use the sync service, then Vivaldi does collect more data, but it's all encrypted as well. Since Vivaldi, just like Brave, is based on Chromium, it's almost open source. Almost because their graphic user interface code is not open to the public. So Vivaldi is a tiny bit less transparent than Brave. To me, this doesn't really make a big difference, but it's still something worth noting. Overall, what you need to understand is that the privacy you get from Vivaldi is very customizable, and you can strengthen it further with some very solid add-ons. But I do have to admit that straight out of the box, Brave is more hardcore in the privacy area. Next up, let's compare Brave Browser versus Vivaldi Browser, in terms of ease of use at least and features. I already mentioned that both browsers are Chromium based, which means that the main layout, well, is pretty standard, you know? You can get these best browser picks on all the main operating systems, and I was able to get all my extensions on both browsers too. What I really liked in the Vivaldi Browser is the sidebar though. I can manage my tabs from here, download updates, quick commands, and so on. Plus, this browser takes customization to another level. I can experiment with themes and choose the specific Vivaldi features that I want. And there are so many of them, from various tab management tools to floating windows, quick commands, and so on. The only drawback is that all of these features can feel a little bit overwhelming and take some time to set up. So I recommend starting from the basics and adding more stuff as you go. Meanwhile, Brave is pretty standard on the customizability side. You get a few tools to personalize it, from changing background wallpapers and theme colors to several widget screens. In terms of additional features, it does have a few. I like the speed reader mode that yeets all visuals and filters out pure content. There's also a built-in VPN and firewall for extra privacy and security, but it does cost additionally. And if you're after a proper VPN, I can recommend some cheaper and more capable options. And I really don't like mentioning this, but Brave has cryptocurrency, which you earn as a reward for watching ads. Thankfully, this is entirely optional, because the payout is ridiculously low. Anyway, I'm sorry Brave, my love, but Vivaldi wins this round. So what about performance? In a Brave versus Vivaldi matchup, which is faster? In my previous browser reviews, I've said time and time again that Brave is very fast. That hasn't changed. If you have a need for speed, Brave is the way to go. Their tab hibernation ability also adds to this. Basically, Brave puts unused tabs to sleep, resulting in better performance, even if you're 30 tabs deep into research. 
Now, is Vivaldi browser good in terms of performance? Well, in my experience, it's a bit slower than Brave. This likely comes down to the fact that it has more features, but while I was testing it out, Vivaldi handled tons of tabs without any significant slowdowns, which is very impressive. Well, that wraps up all the main points in a Brave browser versus Vivaldi browser comparison. So now, there's only one question left. Which is the best browser? As is often the case with these videos, the answer depends entirely on your needs. If you want a super private and secure choice, try Brave. If it's high customizability and features that you're after, I recommend trying the Vaudi first. And if you need fast performance, both will do a great job, even if Brave is a tiny bit faster. Both? Both. 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 Both is good. So let me know what browser you're using right now. Let's chat in the comments. And on your way there, don't forget to drop a like and subscribe. Cheers.